Hi everyone, today I'm going to bring you on a journey to learn more about hormone therapy in the treatment of prostate cancer. Firstly, let us understand some of the terms commonly used. They are androgens, testosterone and androgen deprivation therapy or ADT. Androgens are often referred to as sex hormones and have important roles in many of the body's functions such as bone and muscle health. The main androgen for men are testosterone and dihydrotestosterone. In prostate cancer treatment, we are going to focus primarily on testosterone. Prostate cancer cells depend on testosterone to grow and multiply. Lowering testosterone level in the body or preventing them from entering prostate cancer cells slows the growth and activity of prostate cancer cells and helps control the disease. This is known as castration. Achieving a state of castration is known as androgen deprivation therapy and is a crucial first step in managing advanced prostate cancer. ADT can be done in two ways, through surgery to remove both testicles, which are the main source of testosterone in the body. This is known as surgical castration, or through medication usually given as an injection or oral tablets. This is known as medical castration. While surgical castration is permanent, Medical castration is reversible and can be stopped anytime. Speak to your doctor to find out more about the difference. In this video, we will focus on ADT using injectable medications. These injections are known as LHRH or GNRH, agonist or antagonist. It is usually administered by nurses into the muscle, known as intramuscular, or under the skin around the abdomen, known as subcutaneous. It can be given every month, three monthly or six monthly, depending on the different types of medications. There are also newer forms of medications that can be given as a tablet. They all serve the same purpose of achieving castrate levels of testosterone. Speak to your doctor to find out more about your options. Now you might be wondering what side effects can an injection cause. Let us hear from our patient, Mr. Tan. <laughs> 我在2020年10月確診前列腺癌 我会开冷气冲凉我的女儿太太都会陪我复诊治疗了大概六个月我的尿瓶也越来越好心情也越来越ok I hope your heart is more at ease after hearing Mr Tan sharing It's normal to feel anxious about the injection and side effects The side effects experienced such as hot flushes, tiredness and loss of libido are the results of low levels of testosterone in the body these are more common initially after starting the treatment and most symptoms do improve with time. Lowering the body's testosterone levels with these injections may also affect the blood pressure and cholesterol levels as well as contribute to obesity in the long run. Thus, it's important to combat these side effects with lifestyle changes such as a healthy diet and ensuring appropriate exercise and activity levels. To prevent osteoporosis and reduce the risk of fractures, calcium and vitamin D supplements may be prescribed for you. Bone health can be assessed with further tests and your doctor may advise other ways to protect your bones if needed. In general, staying active, keeping a healthy lifestyle and diet is key to alleviating these side effects. Do speak to your healthcare provider like doctor, nurse and pharmacist when you are in doubt. Support from your loved ones is often helpful and you should involve them as early as possible.